The latest earthquake to rock the B.C. coast is yet another reminder about the potential danger of a major quake off the coast. Tuesday's 6.5 shaker off the Queen Charlotte's was felt as far away as the northern tip of Vancouver Island. And this quake may hold a hint that the big one, whenever it hits, could be even worse than we expect. This equipment at the Pacific Geoscience Center is part of a seismic network which monitors seismic activity across western Canada 24 hours a day. Scientists say earthquakes such as the 6.5 magnitude quake that occurred off the Queen Charlotte Islands on Tuesday occasionally occur as tectonic plates collide. But there is a very distinct difference in the type of quakes that occur north of Vancouver Island. The two plates that meet in that region, the Pacific and North American, are defined as a strike-slip fault because they grind past each other horizontally. Our tectonic setting down here in Victoria, where the plates are subducting, as it's called, um, is capable of generating much larger earthquakes than uh, a strike-slip fault, for instance. In the wake of Tuesday's earthquake off the Queen Charlotte Islands, media reports cited new research in the U.S. showing that a major seismic event, known as a megathrust earthquake, expected any time within the next 200 years, could be more devastating than previously thought. The research, published recently by Central Washington University, suggests the point where colliding tectonic plates would release earthquake-generating energy may be occurring closer to the coast of B.C. and Washington, some 80 kilometers offshore, rather than about 145 kilometers. We've known this now for eight years, and it's been known long enough that it is already being included in seismic hazard estimates. I think one thing that it may contribute is that the ambiguity, the error, might be now a little bit smaller. So we can say with maybe a little greater confidence where the maximum penetration is likely to be. In 1964, a megathrust earthquake rocked south-central Alaska. It was the most powerful recorded earthquake in North American history, with a magnitude of 9.2. A 1.4 meter wave reached Prince Rupert about three hours after the quake. The tsunami reached Tofino and then traveled up a fjord hitting Port Alberni, damaging hundreds of homes and washing dozens away. Scientists say all seismic activity should serve as a reminder about the potential for a large earthquake in this region and the need to prepare yourself and your family before it happens. In North Saanich, Eric Thompson, A News.